Campana's first nighter program. From the Little Theater off Times Square. Starring Barbara Lottie and Olin Sule with an all star cast. And sent you by Campana, the quality name in cosmetics. Theater time. And tonight, just ahead of Christmas, the Little Theater off Times Square is delighted to comply with the requests of thousands of its friends from coast to coast by offering for the ninth time the now famous Christmas play, Little Town of Bethlehem, the Bible story of the carpenter and his wife and their baby born in a manger. Among radio listeners, including members of the clergy, the annual presentation of the Little Town of Bethlehem has become an occasion of deep spiritual significance. A time when whole families, young and old, gather at the radio sets to enjoy the inspiration which attends the retelling of those memorable happenings in Bethlehem on a night long ago. The hour of the performance is drawing near, so let me introduce our host for the evening, Mr. First Nighter. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted that you can be with us tonight for the most celebrated performance of the year in the Little Theater. My cab is waiting. Won't you join me? All right, driver. Wait there. Read all about it, Jim. Up Broadway and across 42nd Street. Yes, the Great White Way looks like one big dazzling Christmas tree tonight. And out just ahead is the Little Theater off Times Square. Well, here we are. Have your tickets ready, please. Have your tickets ready, please. Good evening, Mr. First Nighter. The usher will show you to your seat. Thank you. We'll go right in. Tonight, the sponsor of the first night of program, Campana Sales Company, together with all of their employees, wish to contribute to your enjoyment of the first Peace Christmas since 1940 by the presentation of the sacred story of the birth of Christ in a manger in Bethlehem. We enter eagerly into the opportunity of offering you this evening the Christmas play, Little Town of Bethlehem by Anthony Wayne. In tonight's performance, Barbara Luddy will play the part of Mary, part of Joseph will be played by Olin Soule. An all-star supporting cast including Sidney Elstrom, Hugh Studebaker, Herbert Butterfield, Willard Waterman, and Philip Lord, who portray the other characters. Since tonight's performance will be interrupted only by music between the acts, here is Mr. Billsbury with a special Yuletide greeting. Thank you and good evening. It is appropriate, I think, and it is heartfelt, too, this greeting I want to convey to you. It comes from Campana Sales Company, the sponsor, and all of their employees. They join together this evening in wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And they want to express with warm gratitude their appreciation of your loyalty to them during the past year. You and your friends all over the United States and Canada have chosen and used Campana products in ever-increasing quantities. And we cannot let this year end pass by without saying thank you. During the past year, there became available again some of the ingredients which for a long time had been dedicated wholly to the war effort. As a result, we've been able to again stock the stores nationwide with what many women call their favorite wintertime hand lotion, rich, concentrated, original Campana Balm. We're delighted, as we know you are, that this famous cold-weather lotion could be reinstated on the toilet's goods counters in time for the winter weather this year. If by chance you've not been aware that original Campana Balm is back in circulation again, just ask for it in its sparkling green and white carton at your nearest store. During 1945, we've made countless friends also with the famous solitaire cake makeup. Solitaire cake makeup contains lanolin, and more and more women every day are discovering the sure, smooth complexion beauty that solitaire gives them so easily, so quickly, and hour after hour without redoing. In the more recent months just past, countless friends have written us their compliments about the new and exciting solitaire fashion point lipstick, the lip-shaped lipstick, the only stick with a point that is shaped to fit your lips. Such acceptance is more than gratifying to all the workers at Campana because we all have a very real pride in producing for you the very finest beauty aids that our hands can fashion. 
And now, may your Christmas be the merriest on record, and your new year brighter than ever before. The lights are out, and the curtain rises on the first act of Little Town of Bethlehem. What is your name? Josiah, son of Obed. Son of Asa, the son of Zacharias, the son of... Hold! Caesar does not ask who your ancestors were. Give me only your name. Josiah of Bethlehem. The name of your wife? Leah. Your trade and the number of your children? I am a shepherd with seven children. My flock's in the hills nearby and Enough. I... How much property do you own? My house and 50 sheep. That is all. Who is the next? And what is your name? Joseph, the son of Jacob, the son of Matan, the son of Eliezer. Hold, hold. Must every Jew who registers recite his lineage to me? Did you not hear me say that all I wanted was your name? But I am descended from the kings of Judea, from the great King David. I know, I know, so is everyone in Bethlehem. But the Roman emperor cares nothing about that. This is a Roman census. I'm sorry. I could have been through the enrollment by now if you Jews were not so garrulous. Come, is this your wife? My name is Mary. I, too, am of the line of David. Your voice sounds tired. Have you come far? From the town of Nazareth in Galilee. Sit down on that bench and rest a moment. Thank you. Now, Joseph, what is your trade? How many children and how much property? I am a carpenter. I have no property except my tools and the animal on which my wife has ridden from Nazareth. There are no children, as yet. Very well. That is all. Pardon, my lord, but we have no place to sleep. There was no room at the inn. Can you help me? Uh, the town is filled with those who returned for the enrollment. I can do nothing. Uh, oh, wait. Do you see that man talking with the soldier at the roadside? That is Simon, a rich merchant. He has a large house. He may have room for him. Thank you. Come, Mary. You have found a place for us to rest? We will ask for a place to rest. Pardon, sir. You are the merchant, Simon? Yes. What do you want? I am Joseph of Nazareth, and this is my wife, Mary. The Roman governor said you might have some room in your house where we could sleep. I have no room. The governor and his men are staying with me. If you only had some small corner where we could rest. My wife is very weary, sir. I have said that my house is filled. You may sleep in the stable if you wish. That is all I can do for you. The stable? Let us go there, Joseph. We have tried so many places. A stable, Mary? It is not what I would like. We must be content. Lift me up to the saddle. There. If you lead the way, the little beast will follow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Simon. I'm tired of listening to this babble. Claudius? Take my place here. I'm going to rest. Taking the census is an exhausting task, my lord. Everyone in Judea must spring from Bethlehem. People have been pouring into the town all day. Bethlehem is the city of David. And everyone who is registered here claims descent from him. That is true. And the dream of every mother of David's line is that she will bear the king of Micah's prophecy. Micah's prophecy? Have you never heard it? But thou, Bethlehem... Though thou be little among the thousands of Judea, yet out of thee shall come forth he that is to be ruler in Israel. <laughs> oh, so that's the prophecy, eh? You're all waiting for this new king. Many believe he will come, my lord. And you, Simon? What about you? Do you believe it? Uh, I? Oh, it is rather the uh, shepherds who talk of it. I see. You're very careful, Simon. Perhaps you fear Herod, your king. Herod despises the prophecy of Micah. He hates Bethlehem. It would be well to keep this legend from him, then. But um, tell me about the carpenter and his wife from Nazareth. Did they find lodging? I offered them my stable. You... Your stable? 
Was there no room in your house? The stable is good enough for such as they. My house is kept for Romans, my lord. <laughs> oh, it's little wonder, Simon, that you are a rich and powerful man in Bethlehem. You have all the necessary qualities. Thank you. If you are ready now to go to my house... Oh, not yet. The enrollment will be going on far into the night. Oh, this town of Bethlehem is really beautiful, Simon. Ah, my lord, in the days of David, Bethlehem was great. One can see that. But the sons of David are not the warriors that he was. Ah, these crumbling walls. These broken battlements. <laughs> and yet you believe that your next king will come from here. No, that... As I have told you, he's but the tale of shepherds. A Roman soldier need not... Hark! Some nobleman is at the city gate. Who can it be? We shall soon see. Make way for King Herod! It is King Herod. King Herod has come to Bethlehem. I shall have a king, the ruler of Judea, as my guest tonight. Oh, I am the proudest man in the world. comes down on the first act of the little town of Bethlehem. and be comfortable. Let me spread the blanket for you. You are so good to me, Joseph. You're tired, Mary. There. Now lie down. Could you not bring the beast in out of the cold? It is cold. But it is a clear, still night, Mary. Everything is peaceful. And there's a wonderful star over the courtyard. Can you see it through the open door? Yes, I can see it. All the others are a white mist. Is it standing still? It seems to stand still. Get away, make way. Stand aside. What is that, Joseph? Just someone bringing horses into the stable. To the merchant himself, Joseph. He is leading the horses over here. I pray, sir, you're frightening my wife. Oh, oh, the man from this. I'm sorry, but uh, you will have to move. King Herod honors my house tonight. These are the horses of his party. King Herod? But his horses must have the best all. But what are we to do? My wife... All my life I have prayed that I might be honored by a visit from the king. Surely you would not turn us out. Uh, move down to the um, other end of the stable. Uh, that stall where you see a manger. Uh, you can sleep there. That will do, Joseph. Let us move. I'm sorry, Mary. I seem able to do so little for you. It does not matter. I am supremely happy. I wish I had a better place to offer you, but one does not often have a visit from a king. He is at supper now with the Roman governor. I must go back to him. That is true, Simon. One does not often have a visit from a king. Mm -hmm. 
I regret to hear that you have so few about you whom you can trust, King Henry. There is no man whom a king can trust, Quirinius. Those whom I have loved most dearly have betrayed me. My wife, one of my sons, plotted against me. That is very sad. <laughs> and paid with their heads. Now my youngest son, him who I trusted above all others, has turned against me. And he too has uh, paid with his head? <laughs> Not yet. I have but to reach the ear of Caesar. I see, I see. Ah, you understand me, Quirinius. Let me tell you this. Great Caesar has no more faithful friend in all Judea than I, Herod. I'm sure of that. Bend close, Quirinius. There is something I would say to you. I suspect there may be treason brewing here in Bethlehem. These men have a myth about their descent from David. They plot continually for a new king. The Messiah will come out of Bethlehem. I've heard the prophecy. But don't you see? They're plotting against me. It amounts to little. They've been talking of this for hundreds of years. Mm. I am not so sure. When I called the scribes of the people together and asked them where this child was to be born, they said... In Bethlehem. Is that why you've come to Bethlehem tonight? Mm. Perhaps. And perhaps I shall stay longer than a night. Just to make sure these Jews are not plotting. What is that babble outside? Probably some of your Greek mercenaries gambling with my men. Simon? Simon? Where are you? I am here, O King. Then quiet those brawlers in your courtyard. I shall do so at once. Quiet! Quiet for the king! This Roman soldier does not understand us, Simon. Shh! I know your faces. You are shepherds from the hills. What do you want? We bring tidings of great joy, Simon. As we watched our flocks in the fields tonight, an angel of the Lord stood beside us. Shh! Speak softly. And the bright light shone around us so that we were afraid. But the angel said, Fear not. I bring you good news which shall be a joy to all people. For there is born in Bethlehem a Savior. You are mad. Do you want us all put to the sword? And this shall be a sign to you. You will find the child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. In a manger? And there was a song in the air. A heavenly throng, Simon, singing. Silence! You are mad! Would the king of Micah's prophecy be born in a manger? But we spoke with an angel of the Lord. You must forget what happened. Go back to your flocks. There is no king born in a manger. Only a carpenter and his wife from Nazareth are resting in the stable. We have come to worship the newborn Messiah. Be off! There is no king but Herod. And if Herod should hear you, it would go hard with all the men of Bethlehem. Be off! Be off! I do not Ah, oh, Simon. Who are your oh. visitors? Oh, oh, Quirinius, is it you? You uh, followed me? Only to help you if my help were needed. Who were those men? Uh, oh, just shepherds. Moon-crazed shepherds. They told a wild tale of hearing angel voices. I thought I heard them speak of a messiah. How does it go? But thou, Bethlehem... Out of thee shall come he that is to be ruler in Israel? <laughs> My lord is pleased to jest. But I pray you will not speak of this. I am so afraid of the king. My lord, I beg you not to speak of it to Herod. I think Herod has already heard. And the curtain comes down on the second act of tonight's play.
here is the last act of Little Town of Bethlehem. Let's go, Simon. I must ask you. Those shepherds, you are sure they were not conspirators in disguise? No, no, King. They were only shepherds. Where had it been brought me that they sought the king of Israel? Uh, they said uh, that as they tended their flocks that night, an angel appeared to announce that the king honored Bethlehem by his presence. <laughs> an angel announced my presence, sir? Uh? <laughs> Did you hear that, Cornelius? Good omen, is it not? It may, perhaps, mean much to your kingdom. All Judea knows your greatness, O king. But why? Simon, why did you not bring them to me, then? Oh, oh, they were but rough men with the smell of their flocks about them. I did not want to disturb you when you were feasting. I see. You were sure it was I they sought? There was no talk of the ruler of Israel who is to come out of Bethlehem? Surely your majesty does not believe that fantastic prophecy. I am wary of everything, Corinius. Today, three astrologers from the east came to me and asked for the newborn king of the Jews. They had seen his star rise in the east, they said, and followed it here. You remember the shepherd spoke of that star? It is only the old legend. Mm, perhaps. <laughs> I told the wise men to look diligently for the child and to send me word when they had found him so that I, too, might do him homage. <laughs> homage. I would put him to death. I would kill him if I had to make away with all the boys under two years old in Bethlehem. Spoken like a king, O'Hara. Uh, but now, if you'll permit me, I'll go to bed. Nine days of feasting find me weary, and tomorrow there's much to do. Good night. You move on to Jerusalem tomorrow, Quirinius? Yes. Will you honor me with your company? We shall ride together. I thank you. Good night. Are you resting, Mary? You're quiet. I think of the shepherds, Joseph. I want to treasure up all they said and ponder it. David's throne, an endless reign, the old prophecy coming from their lips. I am the happiest woman in the world tonight. He is the most beautiful baby in the world tonight, Mary. He is saintly. See the even flow of his breath, Joseph. You feel a mingled joy and, and terror watching it. The joy of life and the terror of, of death. Do not speak of death. Joseph, you're troubled. You are frightened. What is it? It is Herod, feasting there in Simon's house these past days. I had a dream. An angel of the Lord came to me and said, Arise, take the child and his mother and flee into Egypt, for Herod will look for the child in order to kill him. Joseph, what is that? I do not know. Shh, quiet. We seek a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes. The Christ Jesus. How, how did you know his name? Who are you? We are three kings from the east. We have followed his star and ridden fast to find and worship the king of the Jews. The star stood still over Bethlehem. So it is written by the prophet. Come, wise men. Here is the child. The child who shall be king of the world. His goings forth have been from old, from everlasting. And he shall tread upon the high places of the earth. Joseph, do you hear what they say? Yes, Mary. Let us lay down our gifts before him. Caskets of gold. Gold as tribute to a king. Frankincense for the priest. And myrrh for the body's belly. We must make haste and ride away. We have been warned in a dream to return to our own country, lest Herod destroy us. You hear what he says, Mary. Even as we were warned to flee into Egypt, lest Herod seek the child to destroy him. It was close to morning. Are you equal to leaving at once? Yes, yes, let us go. We must not think of ourselves, only of him. Let us go without delay. Herod is sleeping now. 
If you would escape this malice and hatred, we will wait for you at the city gate. I have the animal ready, Mary. Come, let me lift you up. There. And put the child in your arms. Wait, Joseph. That man outside. The Roman governor. Ah, man of Nazareth. You are leaving before dawn? We have obeyed the decree of Caesar Augustus and enrolled. We must now return. We have a long journey before us. Yes, a long journey. I did not mean to disturb you. I was restless and could not sleep. Oh, what have we here? So, a new little carpenter. Yes, a new little carpenter. And, like every Jew, I suppose you dream that he will be the prophesied ruler of Israel? We have great expectations. Well, after a stay in this city, listening to your prophecies and visions, I only wonder that a new king has not been born. What faith you Jews have. You have no fear of our faith? Like Herod? Romans are soldiers. You Jews dream too much. But go your way, good carpenter. I even hope, perhaps, that your son may be the long-awaited leader of Israel. down the curtain on our Christmas play in the little theater off Times Square. The audience has responded to the spirit of reverence with which our talented players have portrayed their roles. If you like tonight's performance, a letter from you would be appreciated. Now the members of the First Nighter cast send you and your family their most sincere good wishes for the holiday season. First Nighter program, a copyrighted radio feature, brought you tonight, a play taken from the Bible. If you enjoyed the performance, a letter from you would be appreciated. A word from our audience is always appreciated. Saturday night on CBS is the biggest show in town. Listen again for First Nighter next Saturday at this same time and stay tuned for the Dick Ames show which follows immediately over most of these stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.